when, when we looked back, both Mark and I realised that God was really in the process every step of the way. Um, um, I knew fear like I'd not known fear for many years. And so clearly I heard the word that I shared with you the other Tuesday. Um, he is the stability of your times, mm. um, a, a rich store of wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord, Lord is the key to this treasure. God was just there. He, he brought people into my life who, need, who were willing to help me do things that I found difficult to do. Um, During the caesarean, I believe that there was an angel with me. There was a... a, a nurse in the room who was wearing a very bright coloured cap so this yeah this nurse angel came over to me and she held my hand and she said can I pray for you and I said yes and she said um oh that's good because I already have and she proceeded to pray in tongues and <clears throat> then afterwards it it, it was I believe it was an angel because it, it was like afterwards nobody kind of recognised that this person had been in the room. It was really quite unusual and I think that was God giving me something tangible of himself. Mm. Oh, there he was. I had this horrible thing running through my head, what's the point? I was standing by the sink one morning with a cup in my hand and I said to God, I know this is wrong, but that's how I feel and I don't know how to deal with this and, and I just, what is the point? And God said to me, um, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And in that moment when I needed most a word from him, he brought the Holy Spirit brought it back up to me. As devastating as it all was, I think Mark and I both felt um, God's peace, definitely God's peace. And I think we've really learnt to be more faithful and to trust God that you know we we can't fix everything we can't be in control of everything and as much as this baby was wanted better things other things have happened you know I I can't I can't control the event I couldn't control it mum Mum died. I couldn't control it, but I could control, or I could think about how I chose to react to that. And I had seen an example of faith in God, and I'd made a decision as a nine-year-old that I wanted to, uh, that I was going to follow Christ. So, okay, it's really where the rubber hits the road. Do I really believe that that the God that I trust and know can actually meet me in this pain? Can, do I really believe that He can walk beside me? Do I really believe that he is, you know, all, all that I, I like to sing about, or that he is my strength, my stronghold, my portion? Do I really believe those voices in the Psalms? In hindsight, ten, ten years down the track, it's still very raw, but it has been a blessing. It was a, it has been a blessing to our relationship with each other and as a family and our relationship with God. There was another occasion, my head in my hands, and I sensed a presence in the room. And it was so real that I was afraid to open my eyes, lest it should go away. And I felt a warmth flow over me, almost as if somebody came up with a blanket around my shoulders. And so clearly, I heard God say, of his fullness have you received, and grace upon grace. And the, the, 
it's just like the emptiness drained away and, and I was warm, comforted, strengthened. He's all knowing and he knows the desires of our heart and even though we don't, maybe don't always feel it, he, he is a kind and just God and he blesses us in many different ways. Mum's favourite hymn was uh, the Fanny Crosby hymn, All the Way My Saviour Leads Me. Can I doubt his tender mercy who through life has been my guide? For I know whatever befalls me, Jesus doeth all things well. All the way my Saviour leads me, cheers each, each winding path I tread. And, and I decided I wanted, wanted to own that, not just as her heritage, but as my decision. That, that if she could say that, I could continue to say that. That, that if she could say that through her death and her suffering, Jesus was still there beside her. That in my loss and my grief, that Jesus would still be with us. still be with us. Mm. Philippians 4.13 was probably one of the ones that, that in the first few months, just in the first years, just really um, reminded me of that you know, I wasn't doing it on my own. My strength comes from God. My strength comes from from my, from my, um, from my faith in Him, from, from what He tells me in His Word, I can do all things through Christ. Not me, but Him. I said so often to God, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And so many times God would say back to me, I know you can't, but I can. I think I fell in love with Jesus all over again in that period of time because um, I saw how intimate his care for me was. But I used to think that I'd like to, that I, I, I used to say, I've got a long list of questions I'm going to ask God when I get to heaven. Mm -hmm. and the first one would be is, why did you tell me? But as the years have gone by, I've realised that I probably won't wouldn't ask that question first anymore and I probably wouldn't ask God too much other than saying thank you for for, for being there, thank you for, for being that, that person that you promised. No cataclysmic moment, no exciting lightning story, but I like to think of it, my journey is a journey of faith in a God that has promised and fulfills his promises mm. despite the circumstances.